guys this is a diy video on how i made a table lamp with unique styles of drum shades I used regular items for this DIY project and I'm super excited to share with you guys how I made all of them. Now let's go ahead and get started. I'll be making use of washers. The full size is one inch and it's 100 pieces in total and I got them online. I got 100 pieces because I'm going to be making use of a very large vase. These are the types of washers that they have in Walmart and they use them with nails. But I'm not going to be using nails for this project. I'm going to be making use of just the washers. The lamp I'm making is kind of large. That's why I'm going to be using 1 inch washers. And I spray painted them gold using this gold rust -Oleum spray paint. I got this huge large glass vase from a thrift store. And yes, the base for the lamp is a vase. I cleaned it properly. And then I started gluing all the washers to the vase. To make sure the washers stay in place, I'm using a strong adhesive and a hot glue gun together. I'm gonna make a pattern using these washers on the vase. And if you're new to my channel, it's so great to have you here. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my latest videos. I had to put the vase down and support it so that it doesn't move around to make it easy for me to attach the washers to the lower parts of the vase. There wasn't enough space at the bottom, so I decided to just stop here. I'll be gluing on gems to the washers, and I'll be using just a hot glue gun. This is what it looks like when I was done. And now I'm going to be making the shades. And I'm going to be making two different types of shades. For the first design for the drum shade, I'm going to be making use of an old drum shade that I've had at home. It's called a spider drum shade. I think it's because of where you have to place the bulb. So I removed the material around it and then use wood to support it. And be warned that this is going to wobble a bit because it's not strong yet until you add more wood around and glue it with a strong adhesive and leave it for a while. You will notice the top and the bottom are not so smooth because I tried out something else that did not work out. So that's why it looks like that. I spray painted it gold and kept it aside. I got placemats from Walmart and these placemats are what I'm going to be using to cover up the sides. I cut the placemats to the size that would fit the skeletal design for the lampshade and started gluing it on. After using two placemats, I still had a little bit of space here, so I just cut a very little one from the third placemat and just glued it on. Because the top is rough, I'll be covering it up with gems. Now 
Now beneath the gems and at the lower part of the shade, I'm going to be using bling wrap to add to the design. For the light source, I picked up this lighting from a store called Five Below. In the store, they sell items for $5 and below. So I picked up this lighting from there and it uses batteries. I prepped it for spray painting by removing the globe and protecting the lighting by covering it up properly before spray painting. I spray painted it gold and reattached the globe back. This is how I placed the lighting on top of the vase before I had the shade that I just made on top of it. Now, I didn't like the way the shade was looking so plain, so I'm using a stencil, a peacock stencil that I used for a previous project and the link for this project will be at the top right and in the description box below. The link for the peacock stencil is also going to be in the description box below. I just placed it on top of the shade and then spray painted it gold but because of the nature of the material it didn't really show so well so I had to highlight the edges with gems. Now for the second lampshade idea I'm going to be using a different lampshade that has the positioning of the bulb this time around at the top. So it's a different lampshade altogether. Because I want to increase the height of the lighting, I took a container that I don't use anymore and turned it over and glued on the lampshade together with the container using a strong adhesive. And I used an E6000 glue. I let it dry for some hours. And then this light from Five Below, I got a couple of them. And this is another one that I spray painted gold. And now I'm going to be decorating this part of the lighting to look similar to the design that's on the vase itself. I'm going to turn it over and this is how it's going to be placed inside the shade. The glue is dry, so now I'm going to place this here and then use zip ties to hold the lighting to the iron that's on the lampshade. This lampshade has three irons extending out, so I used three zip ties to attach the lighting to the lampshade. I cut off all the excess, and this is what it looks like. And the lighting is so bright. I have other DIYs using this lighting that I got from Five Below, and it's coming up soon on my channel. I put the shade on top of the vase, and this is what it looks like. Now using the same base, I have made two separate shades, one that's plain and the other decorated. This is what the darker shade looks like at night. It's so pretty and the video did not do justice to it at all because it really has a captivating look at night. If you're using a glass vase, you can put string lights inside. This was a fun project for me because with just washers, a large vase, lighting, and placemats, I was able to get a cute decorative table lamp. This is a fun way of converting a vase that's just lying around doing nothing into a table lamp. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to like and share. Thank you so much for watching. I have other videos linked in the description box below to check them out. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button.